Yeah, man, you feel me? I done cut a cool two years off me, gang. <laughs> Keep a pen on deck. Might gotta write a nigga up. <laughs> yeah, for real. Shit crazy, bro. Yes. You feel me? Come on, fade on point, don't play. Do not play. Hold on now, do not play. Do do not play with him. Uh, do not play with him. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Today was a productive day. I got the money early. You know, my young nigga used to always tell me, man, early, early worm get the early worm get the worm first, man. Feel me? Yeah, man, I get this bit early. I get the money early. You feel me? Get the money early with this shit, man. I did three more songs. I did three more songs. You know? I think, I think, you know, I think I'm, hey, man. <laughs> Crazy thing about it, they think they think they think I'ma stop this shit. When I say that, why? Yeah, I think I wrote all these bibles, all these hymns, just to not 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 produce this shit. You know, to start producing this shit, man. I'm hungry though, man. I think I might go grab me some tacos. You know what I mean? I ain't had me no good tacos in about two days. You feel me? Thanksgiving coming up, gang. Thanksgiving coming up, man. Yeah, man. You see that smile? Like, yeah, man. You know, sometimes you got to show a motherfucker that you can look good to now. I'm just so, I'm just so, I'm just so player with this shit. You know? I don't really even care about this shit, you know? Especially when you already know what you got going on, especially in these streets and shit like that. Nigga, you ain't trying to look pretty for a nigga. What I'm trying to, I'm grinding. I want a woman or a nigga to see me and be like, oh yeah, that nigga grinding. He ain't grind mode. He ain't grind mode. He ain't got time to be playing with you. Nah, for real, I ain't got time to be playing. I ain't got time to be playing for nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, let me take my case off my phone, man. Take my case off my phone. You feel me? I never knew how easy it was to just record yourself. <laughs> you know? I got my partners and shit. Hold on real quick, hold on. My partners and shit all mad at me because they, they shoot videos all the time. Man, come on, man. I got you for 1300 I got you for 800 Yeah, it's cool. I got myself for the freebie. You understand me? That's one thing I learned, bro, to start using my uh, using my resources to my full advantage. You know what I'm saying? Using my fucking resources to my full advantage with this shit. You feel me? You know, a lot of a lot of times this shit be all in our face already, gang. You know what I'm mean? saying? Shout out my baby mama, you know what I'm saying? She found my AirPods. But I ain't gonna lie to you, I fuck with these. These the originals. The original go-getters, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna bullshit you. These the original go-getters, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, my camera's still showing good. Everything's showing good. What I need to spend some money on. But, yeah, man, you know, um... I'm really starting to enjoy this shit. Um, I don't listen to music. You know, if I do listen to music, it's myself. Um, I'm really always talking to myself, gang, you know? And I hope you see how intellectual I am, you know, with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Intelligent when I am with this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I talk to myself every day. Like, I give interviews to myself. Like, you feel me? Like, I be just drive driving. 
And it's like, shit, why not, why not, why not record this shit, you know what I mean? Why not, why not record this shit, all this shit that come along with this shit? Feel me? You know? Why not record this shit? So, yeah, man. Might go get me a little drink or something today, you know what I'm saying? Some light shit. Keep my mind focused and occupied, man. It's Thanksgiving, bro. It's Thanksgiving, bro. This shit crazy, bro. We really made it to this far, gang. I remember in 2017, I got locked up on Thanksgiving. I think that's another reason why I'm so appreciative about this shit. Uh, excuse me. But I was locked up in Amarillo, Texas, nigga. At the tip of the Texas, nigga. On Thanksgiving, you feel me? I look how far we done came. You feel me? Look how far we came, man. Look how far we came. Just staying out the way and learning my circle and learning who I need around me and who I don't need around me. You know? Everybody ain't going to agree to everything you do in life. Everybody ain't going to follow everything you do in life. But it's up to you to make your own shit come true, gang. Whether it's you doing it or it's 100 people behind you doing it, so... Every day, man, nigga, for the start doing this shit, you know? Anyway, back to the cut, though. I know you see the fade. <laughs> I know you see the fade. Real trap, nigga, man. BT the label, man. You understand me, man? Big shit for the come, man. I'm telling you. I'm already seeing this shit, man. It's like, bro, I think God give you dreams so you can see this shit already in your life. It's just up to you to stay when you wake up to go get it. To 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 keep doing everything you need to do to accomplish it. You feel me? You know, God bringing back my family. When I say bringing back my family, I'm talking about like bringing them together. You know what I'm saying? No matter how he do it, bro, you know, it's, it's all his time, you feel me? And so I'm understanding that, man. You know, sometimes we be trying to rush shit and put shit in our time and, you know, when it's all God time with this shit, man. It's all his time, man. You know what I'm saying? Send my baby mama a little Tepiki. Get her get out of my ear for a couple of days, you know what I'm saying? No, today was a light day today, 6 to 1, 6 a.m. to 1 p.m., you know. I'm I'm really the first nigga up with this shit, I ain't gonna lie to you. And I'm the last nigga to go to sleep, you know. I'm not afraid to learn, I keep learning every day, boy. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. And it's my job to at least give y'all 2% of what I learned, you know. I want y'all to be a form with me, man. And then my manager keep telling me, you know, um, keep showing every day what you're doing, man. Keep this shit documented. You feel me? Go harder with your documentations, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's little, simple, or whatever it be, man, just, just, just film it, you know? Document it, you know? You never know what all that shit will build up to. And so... As I think about that shit, like, that shit really make me think, like, you know, what if one day I just wake up and my label or even my label or anybody just go back and just put the whole movie together for me waking up every morning, sipping my coffee, playing chess, playing with my kids, going to go get the money, going to the studio, you know what I'm saying, dropping jewels here and there. Asking for help here and there, you know what I'm saying? Showing y'all how Houston is, what they got going on, you know, <clears throat> how to stay out the way with a lot of this shit, you feel me? Even on one of your brokest da- days, like, you know what I'm saying? You have to, you had to be disciplined to stay out the way with this shit. And I could just see it now, somebody playing it all back to me. And I just be over there, like, tears of joy with this shit, like, 
counting up hundreds though. Like, damn. This shit here is unbelievable, bro. It's unbelievable. You feel me? But it start with your mind though, you know? And sometimes when I'm when I'm chopping game, I'm chopping game to myself, you know? Like I said, I talk to myself, so it might seem like I'm talking to y'all, but I'm really talking to myself, like how to keep staying afloat. You know, I got to keep in mind to myself, man, you know, better days are coming as long as you keep working towards the goal, you know? And a lot of things don't happen to you, they happen for you. So, you know, all this shit that's happening to me is just happening for me, you know? Can't do nothing but be thankful for that shit, man. I had chopped it up with my boy today. I'm like, man, I don't know why the hell I'm so thankful. Bro, this, bro I've been thankful this whole month. I've been thanking shit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They got another police officer. That's an undercover, too. Undercover. I'm thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I had to ask my boy today. I said, man, I don't wonder why I'm so thankful, man. That boy said, man, it's Thanksgiving. That's why it's Thanksgiving. It's, 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 it's a month to be thankful for. You know, I tried to go uh, No Shade November. You know, I tried. But, you know, I had to get sexy, though. You know, I had to. You see that skin? I'm trying to tell you, man. Anyway, let me get back on subject. And so, yeah, man. I'm just thankful, man, that I got a beautiful family, you know? Poor, rich, whatever you want to call it, man. We, we, my family, man, is just amazing, man. You know, I gotta thank my granny for always being there for me. You know, even at my lowest, you know what I'm saying. Brought me back up, you know. I always believed in my vision, like you know. Shout out to my mama. My mama starting to believe in my vision too, gang. So, you know, it, it just make you smile when you when you start, like, damn. Okay, they starting to believe, you know? And once you get your family to believe, it's easy to convince anybody else. Once you get your family to start believing in you, it's easy to convince somebody else. Your family ain't going to never talk down on you. Your family going to always uplift you, no matter who around. Hey, my grandson, or hey, my son, you know, and that's all it is, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes word of mouth is way greater than trying to promote this shit. Trying to trying to pay a nigga to promote this shit, you know what I'm saying? Word of mouth is the best way of communication, I feel. You know what I'm saying? Because they can feel it, they can hear it, they can understand it, they can see it. And so, yeah, man. You know, I'm just dropping little jewels, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a 2 o'clock day, you know what I'm saying? I told you I've been up since 5, really, this morning. 5 this morning, 5 to 2. Yeah, man. Why y'all just getting up? Because, you know, Houston slow. Y'all niggas just getting up. Got to go overtime. I'm finna go to the high, take a shower, relax. Speed up in there, have me a drink. You know what I'm saying? Baby, make me some Mexican tacos. However you feel it. You know what I'm saying? You know? Shit like that, man. Beat your opponents, man. Don't never be scared to keep trying to beat your opponents. You feel me? This shit ain't no race, but it, it's damn sure competition, you know? Right now, ain't, ain't ain't really no artists getting paid right now. So it's your time to keep trying to show the world why when the world open up, whatever, you deserve to get paid, you know? So I hope y'all are catching on to some of this shit that I'm dropping, man, and some of this shit that I'm doing, you know? And I hope one day y'all could thank me for it, like, damn... T down there walking me through the steps of this shit, you feel me? Or at least his steps to get there. You know, my partner's bringing their girlfriends around. Now, hey, man, yeah, that's Trey. I'm down. That's how this shit really is, you know? Nigga, I'm at, nigga, I'm at the stores now. Hey, what's up, boy? I'm down. That's how this shit really is. Okay. You know, versus I used to all, what's up, boy? Nah, hey, I can't wait till they start asking for the autograph. They ask for that autograph. I'm a bad mother. Shut your mouth. I'm a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Once they start asking for that autograph. Hey, let me get your autograph. <laughs> hey, this shit real, gang. But 
I always know, man, it's going to be probably about 10% love, 90% hate, you know? No, no, I take that back. It's going to probably, probably be about 10% love. I take that back. It'll probably be 20% love. You feel me? 60% hate. 20 niggas watching you. You know? Give them something to watch. You know? Like I was talking to my boy today. He was like, man, um, he a rapper and shit like that. He been rapping for four, five years. I said, shit, what's your YouTube like? He showed me YouTube. He only got two videos on YouTube. <coughs> in a five-year period. In a five-year period. Man, where the fuck did I leave my coffee? Man, I left my coffee somewhere. That bitch probably on the top of my hood. God damn. I wasn't going to even drink it, though, but you know I was going to use the cups. But, and I said, what kind of artist keep up with his fans and only got five five, five videos in a five-year span? In a five-year span? What type of great audience could, what type of great artist could keep an audience with only five videos? Especially upcoming, huh? I see if you was a, you know what I'm saying? And even if them, they still got over about 50 videos, 100 videos on their YouTube, you know? And so, like, it just shit like that. Like, you know, each one teach one. But at the end of the day, he's still competition, so... I'm going to knock you out the way. No, not saying it like that, though. Especially if you ain't on my team. You know, but I ain't scared to still drop a jewel on you. It's, it's, it's still up to you to show the work. It's up to you to be... It's up to you to be hungry to, to want to do this shit. You know what I'm saying? And so, me... I think I'm at a stage of my life where I'm just hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. These niggas fast food out here. And... I'm like, okay, I understand. I'm understanding this game of life that we playing. And, you know, you have to understand the game. If you don't understand the game, then you are, you'll forever be kind of lost. You know what I'm saying? You know? I'm really about to start showing you niggas a little magic here and there. You know? And I thank you. I thank everybody one by one, handshake by handshake. For coming to sit down and enjoy my life, you know. You know when when, when you watch a movie, that motherfucker don't just start off him the kingpin, or start off the nigga dead, or start off the nigga getting all the money. And even if it do, hold on, I'll take that back. Cause some movies do start off with nigga getting all that money. Just as soon as come on, he getting that money. He at the top already. We already know what's gonna happen. We waiting on him to fall. Where you gonna fall at? Where you gonna fall at? You know, sometimes when this movie cut on, my movie cut on, I got the twenty percent, twenty percent of the niggas watching. Like, damn, I hope he don't make it. But then, you know, I got the, I got the sixty percent, like, like really on something. Like, oh yeah, he an underdog. You know what I'm saying? He an underdog. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like. Let me watch this shit. Let me watch this shit, cause shit, he might fuck around and, and hit the sack. Oh, excuse me, you know, I've been up, man. I've been grinding, man. You feel me? He might hit the sack, you feel me? And so, you know, I'm the underdog right now. You feel me? I'm the underdog. Never be scared to be the underdog. Never be scared to start. You know? I'm in this marathon now. I hope y'all sit back and understand it and watch it with me. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all have a good day. You know, I hope all blessings come to every last one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? That watch my video, that understand my video, that's understanding me as a person. You know, sometimes this music shit could just be a whole distraction. Um, I always understand the message that somebody giving you. You know. Don't fall in love with the character. Fall in love with the, with the message. You know? A lot of us fall in love with the character and forget about the whole message that the character was trying to give you. Make sure you get up and go get the money, man.